The most popular size for a chain is 18 inches, and yes, that does include the clasp. This is measured from one end to the other. As far as putting a pendant on or what have you, it depends what neckline you have, obviously, um, and it depends at the size of your neck and where the necklace falls. But as far as a chain is concerned, it's definitely 18 inches. If you're starting off with clay and you want something really, really simple to do, no matter what age, it's easy to look through your stash of colours to make little um, logs of clay, little sausages of clay and um, flat sheets of clay, roll the flat sheets around the little um, sausages of clay and put them all together and then slice and you'll see like a wonderful stained glass window of all these colours and just make those into a pendant. If you cut it quite thickly, you can just put a little bit of wire in the top and you've got a fabulous, really, really colourful pendant that will just inspire you to keep going with your polymer clay. Rose gold and sterling silver split rings. Um, I have mentioned this to our buying team and they are on the case. So hopefully in the new year, we should be seeing some more stock coming through. For that person who asked about clip-on earrings, I don't have pierced ears either, so I know what you mean. I have loads of shepherd hood hook earrings. So the nicest way to use up your stash is either to hammer them and just put a little coil on the end of the uh, shepherd's hook and use them as really pretty hooks for hooks and eyes, or you can feed them through pendants and twist them uh, around the top of the loop and do a, um, a wrapped loop and use that as a bail for a pendant, and it works really well. Baking clay is the one question I get asked so often. When you put your clay in your oven uh, and you get it out, it's still soft. All the oven does is just mould all the plastic together. All the little particles come together. When you leave it for 20 minutes, that's when it goes hard. If for any reason you want to add something to it or there is a problem and you want to stick something back together, then you can use liquid clay and put it back into the oven. You can rebake the clay time and time again as long as the temperature is correct. If you use gilding flakes on uh, unbaked polymer clay, it will stick to the unbaked clay. But when you get it out of the oven, some will flake off. So I would put some varnish on top of that just to protect it. And if you put it onto uh, baked clay, you obviously need some sort of glue, and I would use liquid clay, bake it again, and then use a varnish on top. If you get your clay out of your oven and it's quite brittle, it's for a couple of reasons. One is that you haven't conditioned it properly, and especially if you've got two colours and you've conditioned one very well and the other one you haven't, and when they bake, they just bake at a, at a different uh, consistency, and when you get it out of the oven, it will just crumble apart. So make sure that when you're making your canes, that every single piece of clay is conditioned to the same texture, that it's all nice and warm and soft. Uh, you can also get your clay out your oven and drop it into cold water and it will just make everything contract and it will be a lot, uh, lot firmer for you. If you're baking a flat pendant, either bake it on a piece of parchment paper or um, a Teflon coated paper, which we sell little pieces of on the website, or you can bake it on something um, like uh, fibre fill, which is what you put into your patchwork quilts, and it just protects the back of them. It's when, you, when your pendants are put onto a metal surface onto the baking tray that you get a shiny, shiny back, but you can sand it off ever so easily.
If you want to put a bale into your pendant, you can either get a piece of wire and twist it and push it into the unbaked clay, or you can use uh, an eye pin, but remember to just kink the end of the eye pin because if you put it straight in, it will pull straight out. If you want to do shop-bought um, bales, bake your pendant first and then put your shop-bought um, bale on the back with something like super glue or uh, some sort of um, gel uh, adhesive.